And uh, welcome to All About the Bees. Uh, I'm Nathan. And I'm Lee. Yes, and today, yes. A very exciting, exciting uh, equipment we have to present to you. Yes, we do. What is it? Some German made team build Warwicks. So, um, well, I won't do the accent. Yeah, no, no, let's not do that. Not in this. Let's, let's not get involved. In it. Nope, nope, nope. Very <laughs> nice, too. Look, a Warwick. Uh, now, do you know what? Well, my regular base for years and years was a Warwick. You're saying you had a, you had a thumb? You I did. I had a really nice thumb base from about 1987. And I must have had it for 20 years or something. It's a lovely thing. Um, so this is very nice. nice to, to sort you of still got it? You still, you still pay? Might do. Ooh. Um, Ooh. <laughs> and uh, so it's very nice to revisit. Uh, yeah. The, the, you know the old uh, the old brand. What's going on with Warwick. Yeah. yeah and, I mean, see, and seeing how it's changed over the years. Absolutely. I mean, we've covered the rock base range before, which is that like, slightly more affordable Chinese built rock base range. Right. Um, so they do a lot of the same shape. So you get your uh, like Corvette shape and streamer, like like we've got. You've got the Corvette here, the streamer here, um, and they do their sort of more affordable versions. But these are the proper. The proper stuff, they're the real deal. The German, right. German built. The authentic, the authentic article. Yes. As it were. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So these are made in Germany. They are indeed. Obs. And, uh, all right, well, do you want to go through the spec on your one? Absolutely. Yeah. So mine is a uh, streamer LX, what they call the LX shape, which, um, like another car, we, we've mentioned this before, but like another company we've, uh, we've re reviewed before, they've got a curved body. Oh, I see. Yes. You right. See. Oh, my, Chris. Um, so this shape is a little bit uh, debated who, who, who started it. Oh, don't it. get into that. Don't get into it. We've, yeah, we've I don't it oh, for... um, But yeah, it's beautiful. It's very ergonomic to sit, sit with. Um, this is cherry wood as a, as a body wood. Um, we've got an Ovancol neck, which is gorgeous. Ovancol? What's Ovan that? Say? That's a, it's a, what's that? Uh, well, it, it, apparently, it's, it's, I don't know if it's in the same species, but it's, um, uh, it's similar I don't know, tonality to, to rosewood when you use it with acoustic guitars. Okay. So, Taylor use it on their four series acoustics. And this, a, is, this is the neck you're saying, not the, this is not the, the fret, but this is the neck. Okay. Absolutely, yeah. So this, this, that's the uh, that's the neck. The fretboard is wenge. How do we say it? Wenge, wenge, well, I, I, wenge. I would, no, well, I would say. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you want. Yeah. Something you, like say, uh, you say tomato. Wenge. You say wenge. I say it correctly. <laughs> yeah. So that is. But that, I mean, they use these on a lot of, you've, you've got them on the same, a lot of their, their fretboards are the same sort of wood. Right. Um, wengi, you say? Wengi. All right. Um, I've got... Uh, a I lovely got bunch of coconuts. <laughs> yes, and um, some active pickups and ele active electronics. Okay, this like is, a PJ set up there? Yep, PJ, PJ set up with the pickups. Um, the only reason I mention it is, as we'll go, f go through, um, you can get options. You can choose right, whether you want an active or passive preamp. Um, oh, can you? Active or passive pickups as well. Okay. Um, and combinations of both. So right. um, I think that's really to do with, because we've, we've just discovered as well that a lot of these have active passive switching. Yes. So you've got this that, that option on there with a little push pull so you can engage the passive mode. It's always active first if you've got the active electronics. Right. right. And then you engage for passive mode. So that's what we Okay. Well, that's quite good. I quite so, like that. Yeah. So, apart from that, so you've got your two-piece Warwick bridge, yeah. um, and oh, this is a nice little feature, like we said about the uh, Just the Nut three. Yes. I don't know what happened to two and one, but Just the Nut three uh, means you've got a little Allen key there, and you can literally just bring the height of your nut up well, or I, I, down. Yeah. As I said that. <laughs> anyway, 
We digress. <laughs> we digress. Yeah, do you know, so going back to my old base, come, concentrate, man. Sorry. <laughs> come okay. on! Be professional. I'm trying. So my old Warwick, right? Had a, yep. I think maybe it was a prototype thing, but it had like a brass nut. Was it just the nut one? I think maybe it was. And each um, string had a separate little um, uh, saddle. Oh, OK. Up here that you could, but it was threaded, so you could sort of lift it up or down. Nice. OK, so this must be the, the latest this sort of obviously thing. The late, late, latest version. They obviously thought, that's far too complicated. Let's just do this. Let's just do the whole thing up. Yeah, up and down. But that's a, that's a really handy thing. I like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. That's a good feature. Well, I'll tell you what. Shall uh, we? Oh yeah, your spec, mate. Yeah, well, it's so. very, it's very similar, you know, with the bridge and the blah, and the the the, 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 the uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> passive pickups and the uh, active electronics. Yeah. Um, different pickups with this one, so we got like the full fat um, sort of humbucking pickups. Yeah. And then these little uh, twiddly switches here, which gives you options uh, with how the pickups are set up. So you can have it sort of full humbuckers. You can just have it sync two single coils. Yep. Or you can have, obviously, because they're independent switches, you can have one unmarker, one single coil, one unmarker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all, the all manners, all the possibilities that you'll never, ever use. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the body, I think, is different on this one, isn't it? Uh, the neck is it's ash, is it? I think ash, it is ash. Yeah, it doesn't look like ash, does it? Nice piece of ash. So, obviously, uh, yes. Uh, it's obviously the finish, uh, which, they, what do they call it? Uh, oh, it's tobacco. Antique tobacco Antique transparent tobacco transparent satin. Finish, which is brown. Yeah, it's brown. Cut it down a little. Yeah, but um, you've got the active passive switch. I have. I've got the active well. passive switch, uh, which is I, I can imagine that would be handy if you wanted like a boost or something, because that's really quite obvious. Boost. <laughs> um, you know, if you just have sort of run the base passively, yeah, and then crank your EQ up, you know, and if you want to lift the v level, and then you push it in to, hit to that, get the active in, and suddenly you, it's much uh, louder. Yeah, good shout. Get the active in. That's probably not what it's designed for at all. No, but, no, no, uh, but, yeah, no, but yeah, good use. As, as I, you know, even if it's a, if maybe a little solo piece, instead of using anything, you sort of pour yeah. you know, for pedals or floorboard. Why not? Just got it on a, on a dial. Uh, you get Warwick's um, sort of own design strap locks here. Yep. Do and I believe you've got a gig bag as well. You do? Yes, we've got. Oh, thanks, mate. Um, here it is. Here's a lovely ooh. assistant. I'm glad it's assistant, that. Joss. Cheers, man. <laughs> She's lovely too. Beautiful. Looking lovely today, Joss. Beautiful bag. Thank you. Woo! Beautiful bag. Beautiful that's, bag. That's not very nice. <laughs> well, yes, all right. And this bag. one sells at a very obscure price. It's about 1,500 quid, right? It's 1,444 pounds and 70 pence. So it's about 1,450. That, ca less. that catchy price. That's purely just us, I think, trying to uh, just yeah. <laughs> trying to see what. It what, rolls um, off the tongue. It does, it? yeah, yeah. Just trying to compete with our other, our, our, our main competitor. Bit, a bit less than fourteen fifty. And how much yep. is your one? Twelve nine nine. Okay, twelve nine nine. And there are different versions which we'll show you of the streamer because I mean, and say even vice versa with the Corvette as well. This body shape. Yeah. Um, we'll show you some other other types. I've got a neck through version of this later that we'll have a look at as well. Oh, so. should we do that now? Shall we? Or do you want to play these? So the, we've got two different bases now, obviously. Yeah. Unless so, it's, it looks very similar, but look, the pickups are different. 
Ah, Ooh. that's the difference you say. How are they different? Well, we've got two single coil pickups on this one. And they're very close to the, the bridge. So this really is a very jazzy... It is. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You're not, you're not going to get much sort of... Uh, that sort of heavy, heavy, heavy bass out of this it. one. No. no. But this must be, feel a bit more at home, even though it's four, uh, five, but you've got the four-string version of, of that one, haven't you, mate? Uh, yes, absolutely. And I think on the four-string, it is in... For some reason, the, the pickups are in not normal spacing. Right. As for the five-string, I don't know if it's something to do with the resonance of the, the, the low, the B string or something, but um, I know everything is shifted. Yeah. Um, well, I have to say, they're very comfortable to play, these basses. Yeah, so that hasn't changed. They're, they're still really nice to play. Um, I think uh, you've got the same uh, sort of pickup and uh, preamp uh, on, on this bass, which is a passive uh, pickup and an active preamp, which you can kind of uh, switch in and out with your pull, push, pop there. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, you've got pickup, uh, selector, so obviously back, middle, both, and then front, which is that one. And uh, and you just some uh, treble and bass on the EQ, really. So quite simple. Yeah, nice. And how about yours? Well, this is a little bit different. So I had the, the streamer that I had before, the natural looking one. So yeah. this one is a, a neck through version of, of that bass. So they call this the stage one. So the streamer stage one. Okay. Um, so you can see you've got a lovely bit of well, three piece maple neck that goes right through the body. Yeah. Um, and what's on the side? Oh, it's US cherry wood again. So cherry wood on, on, uh, on both the sides of the wings. Um, I've got active pickups and active electronics in this one. Um, same bridge and wangy fretboard again. Um, obviously with maple, it should give it a slightly different tone. You know, hopefully having that sort of built right through, you should get a little bit more sparkle, a little more sustain. Right. Um, this one's a little bit more, this is up in 1969. Ah, a, a, a very year. good year for bases. Mm. Well, we come back down again for this one. 1522. 1522. About 1500 pounds. A little yeah. bit more. I, I'm sure if you come in with cash, you'll probably have it. Walk out with 1500 quid. Boom. There you go. Um, yeah, body on this one, Ovancol. Yep. So we're all Ovancol on this one. We've got Ovancol body and neck. Nice. Uh, the old Wengi. Uh, Wenge, I don't know, I'm saying Wengi, I've never said Wengi in my life. You say Wengi, Arsenal, I say Wenge. Arsenal, uh, no, was it Arsene Wengi? Arsene He's Wenge. gone, he's finally gone after all this time, yeah. can you believe it? What a shame. Well, well done, Arsene. Wengi. You did a good job, mate. Didn't Arsene, win much, Arsene Wenge. but you know, you made lots of money. <laughs> um, and then, that's interesting, because well, you can get loads of different options with these. I know that we're going to look at a Bubinga uh, Corvette in a minute, and but there are Bubinga thumbs available as well, so that, you know, different Bollywoods are available as well. It, we've got a lot on the side. Bollywoods? Different Bollywoods are available. There's hundreds of those. <laughs> um, but yeah, just uh, best thing is look on the website because we've got loads of the options that are just you yeah. know, ready to look well, at. I mean, the, so the spec on this one says chrome hardware, so I'm imagining you can probably mm. have black hardware. Well, do you know what? Actually, saying no, that, the, the only thing is, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with chrome, the hardware, I don't pretty know much is chrome. No, man, no. All right. But Bollywood or Bollywood. Bollywood. Different Bollywoods are available. Also, what I uh, failed to mention on the first base and this one, and probably all of them, 24 frets. This is always oh, yeah, been, yeah, always, sure. yeah, this is the great thing about Warwick's. You've always got this reel, you can get right up the dusty end and annoy everybody with your, your really twiddly bits right up there. Because I do like the 24 fret base. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, I really miss it. If, I, if I'm just playing sort of jazz or a P bass or something, you know See, what I mean? I, see, I think we're yeah. I've just been used to just getting up to 21, is it? 20, 21? And yeah. Then, and then bending if I need an E. Mm. No, but I'd love, a, I'd love a 24 fret. I, I, I mean, actually, same on this one. This isn't that accessible. Sorry. But the, it's, I find well, it's it quite perfect hard. for you then, because you don't want to use it anyway. Because I don't want to really get out there. But Fine. He's, found, he's, he's found his base. <laughs> he's got 24 frets, but he can't get to them. No. <laughs> but well, this one you can. It's lovely. This does sound great. It does play beautifully. And um, I didn't really play around with the, the sort of electronics or anything. We haven't sort of just demonstrated the, the acid, active passive thing. We'd be here forever. We would. But actually, can we do that quickly? Just on... No. Like, no. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Come on. But of course. I just want to show... I'll tell you what, you have a, you have a play, yeah. I'll have a fiddle, we'll show them what it does. All right, cool, cool, cool. Hit me! Oh! Now what, what does this do, anyway? <laughs> yeah. Before we get into that, what the hell does this do? What have we got, two volumes in a... So, this is pick pickup balancer. Bal is it? Yeah, so you've got the little... That one? Detente. Yeah. That's, see, I would have thought that would have been volume. volume. That would have been Yeah, that's balancer. volume. That's weird. A little bit. That's a bit odd. All right, well, hey-ho. <laughs> All right. Bass and treble. Okay, I can work with that. And then... Ah, active passive. Yeah. All right. Well, there's no real point starting off on active because it sounds like flat, doesn't it? Yeah. I, in fact, I was demonstrating that by switching between active and passive. 
boom. And you'll see for yourself. I'll probably be proved completely wrong. Uh, <laughs> Blimey, Norman will be uh, phoning oh. you up for a job. Oh, don't. Oh, <sighs> God. God. Norman, what boy. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds very nice, eh? It does. It yeah. does. It does. It's, it's got that, that pokey kind of jazz back, you know, back pickup thing that I love as well. Yeah. But it's got balls. You know, it just feels like it's got more so, coming through. So. And as I said, uh, that, that, if you've got your EQ set flat, uh, you, you don't hear any difference between passive and active. No. And then, uh, but you can use it if you just notch bass and treble forward a little bit. Yeah. You could just use it yeah, as, just a, as a, a boost or a cut. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I don't know why you want a cut. You yeah. want to everyone get louder, don't you? Yeah. It wants to be quieter. What's the point of that? <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Um, cool. Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, uh, look at this beautiful thing. Oh, do you know what? I'm loving the look of this. Right. In solid I, black. In solid black. Isn't that lovely? black. Yeah, this is the, the CV. Four, you know, four string. Yeah. Um, so it's still a streamer shape. So like, Stream, like so we've got the little, little slightly said. curved body. Got the curve from my little body. curved belly. <laughs> it works a treat. I tell you, it fits lovely. And is it, I, I've got, I get like a melted jazz bass vibe from that. Yeah, that it's, bass. it's cool, isn't it? I like it. The scratch plate. I like it. But yeah, I think it's really good. So this one is a little bit different. So we're just looking through the specs. So this is passive. Well, yeah, th this is this is going to appeal to your more traditional bass player because it's passive, mm. and uh, you know, so it hasn't got any of that. Uh, Wizzy electronics and stuff in it, and uh, it's just 21 frets, uh, so it's all right if you don't want to go up the dusty end, you can't because it isn't there. <laughs> and then we've got a volume for each pickup and treble and bass. Uh, there you go, yeah. I finished, finished. Oh, well, you, you're nice. miles away, yeah. then, weren't you? <laughs> was like, he was thinking, coffee. yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, potatoes, honey, <laughs> yeah. and uh, baked yeah. beans. Get some toilet cleaner when I get back. Yeah. No, um, so, um, yeah, I've got. The Corvette. Toilet cleaner for here. <laughs> I've, got, I've got another Corvette, but the Bubinga. Bubinga 4 Corvette. Now, which... now Bubinga, that's, that's an interesting word, isn't it? Bubinga. It is. What's the Latin term for that? <laughs> <laughs> well, funny you should mention it, mate. <laughs> yeah, go on, I want to hear this. Yeah. <laughs> Look around and see. Apparently, it's Grubertia Demusi. Demus Rusos. It's Dem Demis Russos. Apparently we can't put um, all of the spec on our website, but we can include Latin names. Well, oh, excellent. Work. Yeah. Excellent. Good. Brilliant. Um, this is made of Bubinga, and it weighs a tonne. Um, ton ah, this is the <laughs> other thing, because this base literally is... Uh, I'm having to stop it from floating off. Yeah. Because this is swamp ash, and uh, it's really light. And I have to say, lovely. It's a light base is nice, man. I kind of miss that. Yeah. Very lovely sweat back machine heads as well. Love it's very it. Very sleek, isn't it? Yeah. It's like it a sports base. Sports base. You just want to run, <laughs> run do that 100 it. meter thing. <laughs> dash. 100 meter dash. 100 yard dash. I'm going to do a 100 yard dash with this base. <laughs> well, uh, I definitely couldn't do it with this. No, you this, couldn't. This, uh, I'd be dragging, dragging way behind me. Um, but it sounds, it does sound great. Um, and again, like what with, you've seen with the um, thumbs, the streams, you can get Bubinga versions of those as well. Okay. Um, and you can get normal Ash versions yeah. Ash of uh, Corvette. Um, but this is Bubinga body, uh, Ovancol neck. Uh, you've got... They've all got the adjuster nuts on. Oh, yeah. Like we mentioned, just the nuts. So you can adjust your nut. Yeah. Um, they've all got the two-piece bridge. Yep, absolutely. Um, this has just got a stacked... So you've got treble and bass for, uh, for your EQ, obviously. This is pickup balancer. Your volume and then kick that in for your active active boost yeah otherwise passive when it's pulled out cool um again this feels gorgeous they just they, they all feel really they, they nice all, to play. yeah they're very nice to play and yeah the output on them as well i know this one being active is obviously quite high but even just saying for that one as a 
as a passive bass, you'll hear in a minute we have a play. It's it's a massive sound for passive pickups. Yeah, really really decent. So uh, yeah. nice. So this oh, but prices. This one's this is one of the cheapest of the bunch I think so far. This is one 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 seven point nine zero point nine zero. Or yeah. <laughs> just a little bit over one thousand one hundred pounds. Yes. Um, and this one is just a tad a, a nats over one thousand six hundred pounds. So about sixteen hundred quid. Yeah. Sixteen hundred of your English quid. Uh, so, you know, they, they, it's not loads of money these days, is it? No, it's not. And obviously these prices are, are right now, in April 2018. No. Everything's changing at the moment. Yeah. Everything's changing. Is it Brexit or what? Why is it changing? I don't, well, no, yeah, just the, uh, the stock market. All the, all the, everything, the currency is moving around. Um, just where it's obviously coming from Germany, we're playing euros for these and everything. So we're, we're trying right. to... We're trying to keep on top of it. The next war coming, of course. <gasps> Building nice, didn't it? Oh, no, don't. Keep it light, keep it light. Keep it light, <laughs> keep it positive, people. Right. Keep happy. Well, I think that just about <laughs> wraps up our look at this range. And yeah. uh, I, I, I like them, I think they're beauts. What do you think? Absolutely, man. I, I a think, fan? I am a fan. I think my favourite, actually, out of the top was this one. This little streamer down here. Right. Little bolt on. Yeah. Just. Uh, you like your fours. You see, I'm a, five, I'm a five string fan. So either of those fives are nice. Yeah. Uh, this, you know, this one was very nice. Although a little bit limited sound-wise, I think it's going to be because of the pickups at the back. But I'm sure you can get different versions of that. Yeah, yeah. The pickups in a different place. So yeah, absolutely. There you go. Have a look at the website. Check out what's 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 about. Eh? Plenty on there. Yeah, there's plenty more of the German stuff that we've actually um, had on order for a little while that's on back order, so that they're coming through. Um, some really nice limited editions coming out of the streamer. Uh, that one. Um, for they just released for 2018 that me and Josh saw in Nam that we've uh, they'll, they'll be coming through Nam. in May in Nam. So yeah, we'll, we'll review those when they come in. But they're on line to have a look at now. Um, they're the sort of the top end of what we kept so far. Right. But they look beautiful. So uh, there's only a couple of those coming in. And so uh, all right. Well, I guess so we've got to wrap it up because I'm probably boring everybody's senses out there. Uh, oh, or just hey, another quick one. You like this? Look. Ah, we're going through some uh, Mark Bass uh, Marcus Miller amps. And hey, look at these cabs with the kickback kick feature. Look at this. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm so they've, they've cut a bit out of the, the cab. You, look, that's brilliant. This is a great idea. I like this a lot. This Absolutely. Is, I need one of these. Yeah? Yeah, I do. This you is, do it. You this is great for, for little gigs and stuff. Yeah. So you can hear what you're doing. You know, if you're not on a big stage and you need to, you need your amp sort of facing towards you, this is the way forward. Like it. I like it. Impressed. Anyway. Nice. Uh, we'll let's have, uh, we'll should have, have a little, little play. Yeah, let's have a little play. And we'll say bye. Bye bye. Come into Anderson's and check them out, and uh, you know, come and see what we got. And in the meantime, thanks for joining us. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you like it, click subscribe somewhere. If that still works, does it? You still yeah, there? we just hit nearly four hundred thousand, four hundred thousand subscribers. Have we? Thank you again. Yeah. yeah. Good lord. Yeah. Whatever next. Uh, thanks very much. I've been Nathan. I've been Lee. And we'll see you next time. See you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>
that was cool. Yeah. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Andertons Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting, and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.